Hey guys, today in this tutorial, we're going to talk about a very important interview question. And this question is kind of based on the hash code and equals method. So uh, the question that I'm going to discussing over here, this has been asked many times in many of the interviews just to check the candidates hash code and equals methods uh, understanding. Okay, so uh, I don't want to uh, ask you the question right in the beginning because if I show you a lot of code maybe you guys may be confused okay so what we're gonna do over here uh, I'm gonna type in the code and in between I'm going to ask you two different questions okay and you need to guess the answer for that all right so let's start scoring right now right now so I do have a very simple class called demo over here and I do have a main method okay so uh, now let's start scoring over here alright so now let's assume that I do have another class here called employee okay and in this employee class I do have a non static variable which is ID okay so each employee will have a ID alright so uh, to initialize this ID uh, in the time of uh, object creation, let's say I do have a very simple constructor. Okay, so let me create the constructor over here Let's say employee here and That's it and let's say Is accepting a ID and this the setting this ID to the non static variable to this right okay so it's a very simple class so now let's say I want to create two employee object here okay so how can I create the object for employee so I can write employee here and let's say EMP one and let's say new employee of I'll pass in the ID okay so this employee has the ID this employee EMP one has the ID one okay now let's say I do have another employee with the same ID. So if I do have another employee with the same ID, that means both the employee is same. Okay, this is the same person because each employee will have a same ID. Okay, so just pay your attention because the question is coming. <laughs> All right, so just see it over here. Now let's say I have EMP2 and uh, let's say the ID is again one. Okay. So this one is the ID over here, right? Okay, so now I do have two different employee object with the same ID. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put these two uh, employee reference uh, to a hash map. Okay, okay, so check it out over here. Let's say I have a map here and my map, let's say, is accept a employee uh, as an key uh, uh, and a value which is string okay and uh, let's say it's map equal to new hash map okay and there you go so now what I'm gonna do let's say map dot put okay so the key will be a employee object right so I already have an employee object over here EMP one so as a key I'm going to put this EMP one object here which is an employee object and the value uh, let's say the value is Jack okay and uh, let's say uh, I want to put uh, the another employee object again over here so this is EMP2 which has the same ID 1 so I'll put this EMP2 object over here and the name again I'm I'm going to put Jack right so actually I'm putting the same employee information two time over here in this particular map so what you need to guess it over here let's say I have a uh, I want to check the size of this particular map so if I'm writing here map dot size you need to guess the size of this particular map right you need to guess it and um, and yes now just check it out okay you just need to guess the size of it Okay, so I assume that you have already guessed the output for this particular size of this particular map. Okay, but if not, don't worry because I really want you to understand what will be the output because 
because if I'll proceed further right now, um, you will not understand if you can't guess the size of this particular map. Okay, so to make you understand this, I can make it a little more simpler. I can give you a clue. Just think that there is a um, this is an integer class, right? So I do have uh, integer i equal to new integer, and this integer uh, th there is a value one over here, and I do have uh, another integer over here. Let's say i1 and again I'm writing integer over here and let's say the value is again 1 right now again let's say I do have a hash map okay let me copy and paste it okay so this is a different question okay don't don't get mash up okay this is something really different okay uh, I just want to ask you a, another map size question okay it's very simple just see so here I'm taking integer here uh, and let's say I have integer here as a key and string as a value and let's say this is a map one this is a, another map right this is an, another map over here and here again I'm putting uh, a map one uh, dot put and I'm putting uh, I here and the value let's say one okay and again uh, let's say this is I one and the value is again one because uh, this I value is one this I one value is one right okay so now again I am just going to print out the size of this map and you need to guess that okay so let's say map one dot size okay so now you just guess the size of this particular map okay so what will be the size of this map and what will be the size of this map this is really really uh, important to understand um, uh, before I go for my question okay so uh, let's clear up our con confusion over here okay so uh, this particular map size will be 1 and this particular map size will be 2 okay so if I if I run it right now you can see the first map size is 2 and the second map size is 1 okay by seeing these two outputs we can be make sure that in the first map the duplicate elements are getting inserted isn't it this EMP1 and EMP2 both are pointing to the same jack object having those same employee ID which is 1 but still the map size is showing 2 isn't it but here we are having uh, the same integer which is 1 both I and I1 value is 1 as well but being the duplicate elements this particular map is allowing only one element to it so the size that we are getting over here is one okay so what you need to do is over here so here goes the question you need to if you talk about this particular map over here let me separate this this is a some sort of clue to you okay you can use this one as a clue so what do you need to do over here this particular map should return one as a size right so the duplicate element should not be entered to this particular map instead of two you should get the map size as one okay so how you will do it okay so the reason why I have written this piece of code just to give you a clue why you are getting one as the output over here but why you are getting two as the output over here and how you can make it one okay that's your question and that you need to think okay and this is a clue to you all right okay so now let me tell you the answer just think about the integer class so this integer is a wrapper class right and as you know all the wrapper classes I mean it may be integer it may be character it may be uh, double or any wrapper classes has already implemented the hash code and equals method into it I mean the hash code and equals method is already been overridden to all the wrapper classes isn't it to make you sure uh, this I'm inside the Java API right now this is uh, 
the Java API by using this URL you can go to the API and this is the integer class right so if you talk about this integer class in Java then we can see there is a method called uh, equals which is right over here and already uh, there is a method present here which is hash code so all the hash code and equals method is already been overridden to the wrapper class I mean any of the wrapper class it may be integer it may be double or it may be any other wrapper classes isn't it so what hash code and equals method does I assume that you already know it if you don't I'll make another video for that but uh, to um, I mean to make it very short I can say that you know if two object hash code is same um, I mean uh, at that time the equals method is going to be used right and there the contents will be checked and if the hash code is same and the content is same then that will be a duplicate element or that will be a duplicate object and this that should be rejected isn't it so if you talk about over here inside the employee employee class there is no hash code and equals method present over here isn't it but inside the integer class there is already a hash code and equals method present uh, which is actually verifying the duplicates element and uh, stopping uh, to make an entry into this particular map isn't it so we need to do the same thing with our employee class we just need to generate the hash score and equals method and you don't need to think about think much about how to generate the hash score and equals method yes if you want you can write your own implementation but over here I'm going to use my IDE to generate the hash score and equals method and to do that I'll go for the stores and I'm gonna click over here generate hash score and equals right and I'm gonna click OK over here and there you go so this is my hash score method and this is my equal method isn't it so now my employee class has both the hash score and equals method all right so what I need to do right now I just don't need to do anything else I am just going to run this program again and here you can see uh, the first map size is one and the second map size is one right so there you go so if you if you right now if you just uh, you know if I'll just print the map dot entry here and uh, if I run it you can see only one particular element is getting inserted to the particular map but if I will uh, comment this particular out okay and if I will run this program you can see both the element Jack and Jack is getting inserted all right so that's how the hash uh, I mean the uh, the hash code and equals contracts work and uh, this is a very very important interview question which will be asked so many times in the interview and uh, uh, you know it's uh, very important that you should have a good hold in it okay so this is it for today and uh, I'll be covering some more questions in the near future. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.